All right, so what I'm going to talk about isn't really about COVID, but it's related to COVID. We're not, I know many of you are here for a little bit of escapism and distraction from what's going on, but we know that right now the scientific community is doing amazing things, coming together, working to figure out how we're going to you know, get through all of this. And one of the things you can do to help is with uh, scientific research. And this is through something called folding at home. Folding at home is like cloud computing. There are numbers that need to be crunched. It's called protein folding. I'm not going to pretend I know really what I'm talking about. Folding proteins? Jeez, what's all that about? But anyway, it helps do research for all sorts of like cancer, Alzheimer's and other um, diseases and whatnot. And they are now focusing their efforts on COVID research. And the cloud computing element means anyone can get involved. You get a task sent to your computer. Your computer crunches the numbers, folds the proteins, does all that, and you can send it back to them. And you can do this as part of a hermit craft team. Some of us hermits are doing this together. We've set up a team. The team will be public. You can join and contribute to it. That's just a sort of fun incentive to, uh, you know, motivate people a little bit to join in. Uh, Rome Mango says, I hate maths. Now, I love maths myself. Maths is beautiful and amazing. You don't have to crunch the numbers yourself. Your computer is doing it, your hardware. Now, this appeals mainly to people with beefy computers. If you have potato computers or something old, it's probably not really worth getting involved in terms of using um, power supply, etc. to do all of this. But if you've got like a beastly computer with a good graphics card, good CPU, you can get involved and you can share your computing power with them. Now, as far as I can tell, it's it seems to be very well verified as being legit and safe to use. It doesn't take any personal data or track any personal data from you. Signing up and using it involves you just using a username and having a password. You don't have to give them email addresses and... Uh, or maybe you do. I can't remember if you gave them an email address, but it's not tracking your data. It's not that sort of app. It's very for the scientific community. Um, so if you want to get involved with setting up a Hermitcraft team, it will be interesting to do uh, to see how that gains some traction and helps do some scientific research um, and help you know the, the scientists progress with figuring out how to beat um, COVID. So anyway, in chat, I'm going to send the link to our team page. And if you want to participate and contribute to our team, all you have to do is use folding at home and then use that number and you join the team and you can help contribute to Hermitcraft doing some research, right? Um, I'm going to post the link a couple of more times. Hopefully a couple of our mods can grab that. I'll make a command for it, says Estellian. Estellian, awesome. That is perfect. And uh, yeah, do some research. If you're not sure about what folding at home is, you know, get on the YouTube, get on the Google search as people making tutorials instructions on how to install and run it it's actually really easy to use and you can use it in a variety of ways as well you can have it sitting on your computer and it won't do anything when you're using it but as soon as your computer goes idle it will start crunching some numbers um, you can also just set it to run around the clock like full speed that's the thing you can do i've been using it overnight and it actually leads to me having a little bit of a funny story about um, a current situation with my computer because I'm currently not folding and I'll explain exactly why in a moment. Um, one thing I will mention, a couple of things, in terms of being efficient with it, I've read that it's best to, if you start a job, if you get a job from them and your computer starts crunching the numbers and helping with the research, it's best to do that job as quick as you can and send it back to them, which means that it's a good idea to perhaps use it overnight or try and do the folding when you're not in the middle of doing other stuff on your computer. As uh, as jobs can be in a chain sometimes, so if you're taking forever to get a job done, that can hold up some other ones getting done as well. So that's something to consider. Uh, the other thing was power usage. Apparently running it at 100% is not very good, not entirely efficient. It's better to use around 75 to 50% of your uh, power that you're supplying to your GPU or your CPU. Um, so in terms of being power efficient, you know, environmental concerns, where is your power coming from, all that kind of stuff, that is another consideration. And that's about the mo most that I know at the moment. And all of this sharing of your resources will help with uh, research. And if you're going into the program and you're trying to select COVID, 
um, there's like a drop down for what you want to contribute to. You just select any disease, I think it is, and that is automatically doing COVID at the moment. Uh, so yeah. Now the funny story is, the funny story is that I ran it overnight, full pelt, CPU, GPU, like my computer turned into a heater. Okay, I was a little bit concerned, but I wanted to uh, run it overnight. And thanks to having some logs from my UPS system, it it the it, the, the computer crashed or whatever. Something happened at about. 4:40 in the morning so i got a good like six hours of it running in and then and then my um, backup power supply died now i've since learned that my backup power supply is probably running very close to the most it can deliver to my computer and i have now actually got my hands on an rtx graphics card this graphics card is going to soak up even more power so i currently don't have a ups system i currently don't have surge protection and it's got me a little bit concerned. So I'm currently not folding. I'm waiting until I've upgraded my computer, uh, brought a new backup power supply system or brought one. Uh, but anyway, when I woke up in the morning, I had this a little bit of a fear of like, my computer's been running around the clock. This is a computer that I built myself. What if I had messed up the uh, the cooling system in some way? And you know what? Like I walked into my room. Yep, the computer's off and it wouldn't turn back on again. And I was just like, oh man, like this just had to happen, right? And uh it's almost like a bad advert for folding now. I don't I don't like, you know, fully know what happened by the way. Oh jeez. Anyway, so after a while I realized, hang on a minute, it's my backup power supply system. Anything plugged into it wasn't working. So I unplugged it, couldn't get it to boot back up again, plugged in everything else, and then everything else was fine. But now I don't have my UPS, so I, I don't know specifically what happened because it's failed. It's not like it couldn't continue delivering power. Like the whole thing just died, and uh, there's no like report as to what happened. I can't get it to run again, so that's kind of that's kind of weird. I need to think about how much power I'm using, and yeah, get a get a power supply system that's going to work with my uh, new graphics card because it's going to drain more juice but once i've done all of that i'm going to start folding again and hopefully it doesn't happen again um someone says maybe you blew a fuse that could be it james says why do you have a ups well because this is my job right i've got to protect my uh my interests of my job you know because uh if the power goes out i you know i might want a moment to safely shut down my computer save any projects that i'm working on essentially that Anyway, that's the story of folding at home. Um, if you want to join and get involved, then, uh, you know, that's our team number. We're going to be sharing that and maybe promoting it a little bit more and encouraging people to help out.